Okay, here's the house at 119 Stony Crossing. This is the front yard neighborhood. We'll do a quick walk through covered entryway. Nicely painted front, front door, tile flooring, leading into wood flooring or laminate maybe, I'm not sure exactly. And so a nice foyer entryway, popcorn ceilings, wainscoting and a beadboard look. All of these items on the wall will probably be going and to the left, there are two bedrooms and a full bath. And I'll lead through the main part of the house first. So this is entry into the living room immediately with a entertainment wall. And it looks like gas log fireplace. A lot of people put the TV above the fireplace, of course. And pulls you right through to the backyard, which has a high privacy fence with a door in the back middle. And then you have your kitchen countertops. You have vaulted ceilings. Let me back up and show that. So it gives you a real big spacious feel when you come in because it's all vaulted. And they've got it really nicely decorated. I like their taste. Well done. It's like a soapstone looking uh, countertop. It's quite pretty. And white cabinets. Looks like newer appliances. And again, this is vaulted with recessed can lights. One light over the sink is out. And the little chandelier over the dining area, breakfast area. Then you have a screened in porch in the back. And a patio behind that in a big, nice yard. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's do the common areas in here first. You have your beadboard wainscoting around the dining area. And a double slider for the porch. Drops to about an eight foot ceiling in here. And of course, here's the kitchen. It's all vaulted. Very nice, clean looks to it. Pretty tile flooring. Microwave above your your range. Looks like a nice range with five burners and fridge. Then you asked about the washer and dryer. You were right. It is in the closet over here. So you have Nice little interesting way they set that up for storage and for drip dry. The washer and dryer are in here. That's the garage door. And then over here, mirroring the uh, closet for the washer and dryer is the pantry. Oh, they have a child proof little device up here. So. And then here's the garage. It's a two car garage, pretty tight. Looks like about a foot on each side. Does have a pop up, probably to go to the air handler, maybe some storage up there. They obviously have everything packed in here. They're ready to go. They have an extra refrigerator out here. This is probably the one that came with the house originally and they moved it out here and got another one. Hot water heater over here and a door out to the service yard leading around to the back, which we'll see in a minute with a lock on that side door. So you could, you could put a doggy door here. Then the dogs would have a nice little run out and be able to get in and get some water and such inside the garage. So back in here, we'll lead back to the front before I go to the backyard. 
The master suite is there behind the living room, great area. And pardon the bounciness. Over to here, the hallway to the left of the front door, which is twin side lights, which is quite nice. You have probably a coat closet here, exactly what it is. You have your return right here for your air conditioning. Then you have the guest bath and full bath. They've got it painted black or really dark. So with a, a standard tile shower tub combo insert fiberglass culture marble countertops uh, raised and elongated toilet seat which is nice then guest bedroom number one in the middle here they've got a little bunk set up nice little use of space here in the closet double closet over here. Then you have a linen closet between the two bedrooms. And then the front bedroom, it has the uh, simulated wood floor, which could be a pergo. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It does have a double closet, has a big double window, five foot windows with nice window casing, foot molding, no ceiling fan in here. They have a regular fan running, so it'd be nice if they had a ceiling fan in here. You probably could put one in. Popcorn ceilings. Okay. So, very seems very organized. Now let's lead back to the master bedroom. Okay. The wood floors continue into the master. Vaulted ceiling here with a nice ceiling fan. They do have an extra fan in here, so that may just be to keep a cooler. I don't know. We'd have to check the HVAC, see how that's working. You have a nice long walk-in closet with lots of shelving. They've got a couple little pieces of furniture they've added. Those would not come with it, but the shelving would stay. Well done on the shelving. Very organized, very clean and neat. You can tell the, the tastes are very nice. It looks good. Double sink on the vanity with drawers and cabinets, a light bar, and this is vaulted as well. So it gives it a real spacious feel in here. You've got the elongated and elevated toilet here as well. And they put a little piece of furniture behind there. You have a fiberglass walk-in shower with a seat and a handrail. Okay, that shower head may or may not remain. And then you have a tub. So they have a nice little tub here uh, with a frosted glass for natural light into the bathroom here. So it's very well done. This is a king size bed with plenty of room on each side for pretty good size nightstands which are small bachelor's chests, two windows. So you could put the bed coming off of here where the uh, dresser vanity is, makeup vanity, and then they have their TV down here at this end. So we'll do a quick outside and then we're done. Okay. Here's the porch. It's vinyl all around on the exterior and there's the doggy door and then you have a little wood deck that's flat on the ground and the dog house is here hopefully the dog's not here or that's a storage shed over there you got a huge tree to provide some shade of course that makes it hard for the grass to grow and you have the little door in the middle there next to that plant if you needed to get out around the back to do any yard work or anything. But this is a very nice size yard. They put a fire pit over this little pavers, concrete pavers they put down. And then this is 
going back to where you have your garbage and you have the door and the side door going into the garage. So you could put a doggy door there if you wanted to. Or this may work, maybe not for your dogs, but some type of contraption here so they could get in and out of the porch, get out of the, out of the sun. So that's it. Do one more walk in. Give you a feel for this. And if you have any questions, give me a call. Okay, it's a nice home. It's on the, the main road coming into Edgefield, the community Edgefield. And when you drive in, it's on the left. So I hope that gives you enough of an idea on what, what's here. Okay, take care.